In this video of the shed series, we are going to continue with page or sheets, and I'm not going to do all five sheets in one video. I'm going to try and break this up so the video doesn't get too long. I don't know exactly how far we're going to get, but I'm going to try and keep the video at around five minutes or so at most. So uh, there will probably be a second video to finish the rest up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is under sheets, make sure you're in the A101 title page. So on the title page, we're going to drop in a few of the renders that we did with our cameras. So to simply do that, it's fairly simple. You're going to go into your 3D views, and it's easy to tell which one's which because we named these already. So I'm going to grab, I don't know, the front left, and I'm going to left-click hold and drag it into my sheet. And then you'll notice this kind of perimeter box pops up with a label underneath. And I'm going to left click and add this in and somewhere in that vicinity. Then I'm going to do one of the rear ones. So let's see, I want to get the window. So I'm going to do my rear left. I'm going to bring that one in. Left click, hold and drag. Left click that. And then you have a nice title page with some renders, some finished renders of the model. And then I'm going to just go ahead and save. And now let's go ahead and do the... A102 floor plan sheet. So double click on that. And this one's going to be a little bit more involved. There's going to be a lot more steps, so stay with me. Um, pretty much we're going to be making a sheet with level one but fully dimensioned. So the first thing we'll need to do is scroll on up to the floor plans in the project browser left click on level one right click it and duplicate so we're going to duplicate the view and then click duplicate with detailing and then i'm going to go ahead and rename it and we're going to call it level one dim so i'm going to right click rename leave the level one but type in type in dim for that way we know this is the one that we have dimensioned. Left click off of that. And then up here in the uh, properties panel for level one DIM, I'm gonna scroll down to visibility and graphics and hit edit. And on our dimensioning here, we don't want all these plants. So the visibility and graphics kind of has, it's the things that are turned on within your view. So we're gonna go ahead and edit that whoops I just expanded this so we're gonna go ahead and change that and we're gonna scroll down and turn off planting because I don't want to see all that with the, my dimension to page and I'm gonna click apply and OK so now you'll notice that all the plants and trees are now gone the other thing I'm gonna change in the properties panel is the view scale so I'm gonna drop that down and switch that to uh, we're gonna do a half inch equals a foot and then I'm going to click, oh, it automatically applied it. And then now we can actually get into dimensioning. Now the dimensions are under the annotate ribbon up top. So I'm going to switch to that. And if you've ever been in my other classes, we normally use linear, but we're going to use aligned for all of this. So you're going to be using the aligned option. And the first dimension we're going to locate is this wall right here for the closet so we're going to left click that and then left click this upper edge of the left the exterior face of the wall don't click the center click the outside edge and then i'm going to bring that dimension up and add that in by left clicking And we're going to do a little bit of editing of the dimension. So you're going to click on the dimension. And then over here in the properties panel, you should see the linear dimension style, 330 second aerial. You're going to click on edit type. We're going to scroll down to the text size right here. And you're going to type in a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to go ahead and click apply and OK and then now we're gonna go ahead and add in the remaining dimensions for all the walls so I'm gonna move through this a little bit quicker now 
and then you can go ahead and just kind of follow along. So I'm going to left click in the white space to get back into my regular annotate tab, click on aligned. Uh, the next thing I want to locate is the window. So I'm going to go from there to there. And then from the window to the other exterior of the wall. Notice how it will automatically snap to that second row. So I'm going to add in that one. And then finally I'm going to do an overall dimension. I'm going to hit escape. Go back aligned. Why won't it grab? Um, sometimes you may have to click on. Right now it wants to go center line. I want to do wall face. So I'm going to click on this edge and then this edge because for some reason it wouldn't grab that outer face so you might have to be switching sometimes back and forth between that and then uh, let's just keep going around so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do from this face to the center of the window and then I'm gonna do center of the window to this face and then I'm gonna do overall And then we're going to go down to this bottom wall. We're going to go from this wall to the center of the garage. Center of the garage to this wall. And then end to end. And let's do the left side. We're going to do from, uh, let me hit escape. There we go. From the wall to the partition, or exterior to the partition. Exterior to the partition, and then we'll do an overall. So that will be all the dimensions that you need. Go ahead, and uh, I'm going to hit escape to get out of the dimension tool a few times, and then I'm going to hit save. The other thing we're going to be doing right now is adding in some room labels. So under the architecture ribbon, you're going to go to the room and area panel and we're going to click on room. Then we're going to hover over this area, this kind of workspace area, and I'm going to left click to add in that room label and define that space. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the closet. So I'm going to left click in here, kind of staying away from that blue dash line for the garage door so it doesn't intersect that and drop in the room label for the closet. Then I'm going to hit escape to get out of the room tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on, I'm going to zoom in, click on this room label and I'm going to type in all caps. I'm going to type in workspace. And then for this one, I'm going to type in closet. So now I got my room labels in. And then I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to click off of that into white space so I'm no longer in that. Then I'm going to go down on the bottom of the screen and click on this show crop region. Now when you first click it, it lights up, but you really don't see anything. So you have to zoom out super far. So right now our crop region would be this. So if we tried to bring this into the sheet, it would be, you know, super big. So we need to adjust that crop region by clicking on it and then dragging in all of these blue dots on each side to just wrap around the perimeter of our shed and I'll just tighten this up a little bit and you can do the same. So now that we adjusted the crop region when I left click off it I don't want to see that in my sheet so I'm going to turn it back off so I'm going to hide the crop region now and then you will see the light bulb go blue. So now this is ready to be added into our A102 floor plan sheet. So I'm going to go back down in the project browser, click on A102. So now it brings up the sheet. Scroll back up and drag in level one dimension. You'll see that it kind of brings it in there. And I'm going to left click and drop that in. And I need to fix that a little bit. And the issue is that the label and scale underneath the view are running into the title block. Now that's occurring because if you hover around the edge, you'll see my crop region. So my crop region needs to be tightened up a little bit on top and bottom still. So I can do this two ways. I can actually double click right on the edge of the viewport 
and I'm now currently working on the level one dimension in the sheet. So if I hit show crop region, I can show it and then I can drag it in a little bit more to tighten this up even more. And I may have to pull in some of these dimensions. You can just, uh, that's a little too close for comfort. Let's see how that looks. Uh, when you're done editing, you can just, oh, I got to turn off the crop region. When you're done editing, you can double click out. And I can move this down a little bit right there. And then actually, I forgot, you can move this. So if you just left click on the edge of the viewport and then hover over the line here, you can drag this up. Uh, that didn't work. One second, bring that down. And I lied. The, the clicking on this is a little weird. So to just move the label and scale, you just have to left click it once and then use the move tool and then you can move just that up. So that's what it should look like. You got your um, floor plan with the dimensions, the room labels, and then you have your label along with the scale right underneath. So that'll be it for this video. And I know that went a little bit longer than I expected, actually double, but that's it. I'll see you in the next one.